It's about humanity, people coming together, working together, living together, understanding each other with the word R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect. Love you, baby. I love you, too. Where do you stand on ending the private Federal Reserve banking system? I stand on people getting an equal fair shake in America. And there's been the haves and the have-nots. It always have been. And so now what you people are doing, the young people that have the, the guts and the intestinal fortitude to, be, to love this country, you're fighting for change. And I support change. I support what you're doing in the manner in which you're doing it. And so when you say about the different things, I can't speak on what I don't understand. But I do understand poverty. I understand being poor. I understand being underprivileged. I understand discrimination, separation, segregation. I understand all of that. And so now if you can get everybody to come together that we can solve each of our problems, we're going to have a better America. Working together work. Black and white alike. Let's just have less Barack Obama change. We don't need that change. There is no change in well, that. Well, you know, that is not so because you got to understand something. Everything that Barack Obama did, he inherited. You got to understand, he just came and in. And expanded. No, 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 no. The no, war. No. no, the biggest The tarp bank bankers. No, he's bringing the troops home. They're saying about the troops. Now, but sending home. out military contractors? No, but this yeah. is military contractors. Good. What you're saying is but 400 years of promises. Promises everything and give us nothing. So, you know, you're getting caught up in the wrong thing in your zeal to do what's right. You're getting misinformed and you're getting ill-informed. You but have to understand now, this government is run by the people that you send to Washington to run the people. Yeah. Black, uh, the biggest statement this country made in the 200 years was to elect a black man. Yeah, yeah but, he, but he's like keeping the same policies as George yes, W. Bush. No, no, George, keeping I, torture, keeping no, torture, no, expanding no, no, Afghanistan, no, no. expanding, expanding Libya. Uh, no, but you see, you care not with your emotion and your passion, and you're not thinking. Take an objective, dispassionate step back, and then go back and see what a miraculous job this America did. And so then you work for a better America to resolve the differences and to be able to cure the things that are incumbent in this nation where they've been dealing with the pork barrels and the different things. He didn't invent that. He was a slave. You know what I mean? He was a slave. Now don't, now don't take the slave and make the slave the victim. He's the victim and you're going to make the victim the victimizer. If you say the country, if you say the presidency, then you can deal with it. But when you start talking about pushing about Barack Obama, that was one of America's miracles. Mr. King. Yes. How is Obama stopping the war? What are you going to do to help us? I know. Here's what I think. I think that the troops are coming home, and I think that the reason that you can demonstrate tonight they're and any other profit. night is because of those troops. They're fighting for you profit. I mean? That's what yeah, so you got to be able to understand something. Fighting for those troops, you got to take care of our military because That's they ensure the, your safety and liberty. You know what I mean? Around the world. So now what we're going to do is the work to solve the grievances that we have here. What are you going to do to help us? we got to do our, we got to help ourselves. And how do we do that? By unity, solidarity, and togetherness. I'm unified with my brothers. Yes, I'm unified with my brothers. All right, then let's make it happen. We will make it happen. What are you going to do to help us? We're going to do everything that we can, because I'm one of you. I'm with the masses. No, I need help us. I need one. help too. Don't tell me I ain't one of you. You got millions of dollars. Well, we, oh, so, hey, so, so, hey, so, hey, wait, wait a minute. So he has millions of dollars. Wait a minute. Of us? You have to understand oh, well, something now. Have don't have come to me about that because like listen, that. I, I didn't have nothing. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can, you can tell it to the white man. You can't tell it to me. You know what I mean? Because I was poor and poor. You know what I mean? Because I made it in this country. You can do it too. All right, so now that has got to resolve it. Don't play the same game with me. You play like you play with the man because I understand the man. I got a PhD. No, I don't understand. Get a seat. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna help you. Get a pill in the I'm gonna help you because I love you. I look at you. You look like me, and I feel good. Join us. Join my I'm joining. Get a pill on the sheet and join us. Hey Don, why'd you rob Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali like Barack Obama robbed us? Because I love them. I love them and I thought it was just so nice that they would give me an opportunity for me to make them rich so that I could rob them because they were poor when they came to me and it wasn't nothing to rob. Uh, let's get ready to rumble!